Hey everyone. So today I have another storing photo cards video because I probably have the most amount of cards built up right now that I ever have before. But that's because I finally got all of my AT's epilogue cards in and I have cards from three comebacks for groups I collect and everything has just built up so fast somehow and I am so excited to put everything away now. I have cards for pretty much every group I collect but the biggest stacks are AT's and Stray Kids. And typically I would start out with AT's but I think I'm gonna start with Stray Kids today since I have so many cards to go in this mini binder. So these are all the cards I have for this binder and would you even believe that this entire stack is just for Stray Kids? And like I mentioned in my collection video, this binder is now just for Stray Kids since all the other groups definitely outgrew this one. And in a trade recently, someone gave me this Felix Polaroid as a freebie, so I decided to put him on the cover since it used to just be ATs. So this entire stack is all for Ordinary and I've already pre-planned out for this in the back. So I'm going to start on this page. And for this era, I actually decided to collect four members, which is kind of crazy for me, but because this album was in Target and you only needed one set to complete two members, the ability to collect half the group was just so easy because I got two sets from Target. So that is how all of this was possible. So I've decided to collect Mino, Hyunjin, Felix, and Jongin. The first three because Dan Sriracha is like my whole bias line and then I just think Jongin has the cutest cards ever. So the first three pages are going to be for their three album card versions. So it starts out with the Frankenstein version. And then the second version, which I already have forgotten the names of these now. And I actually have every single card on hand already because this was the easiest trading experience of my life. So I bought this comeback with my friend Cheyenne and we both bought two sets. So that was like 12 albums. And with all of our pulls, I managed to complete at least two thirds of this just from pulls and then I managed to finish all my trades in the first day. I think I got like 10 trades total all the first day and it was just insane. Like this, I've never had this much ease at collecting a group in my life. And this comeback was literally just amazing. My favorite song off the whole album and possibly one of my favorite Stray Kids songs ever now is Venom. The second that song played because it's the first song in the album, that song just speaks to me. Like I don't even know, that song just makes me feel some type of way. But yeah, so here are the uh, last page of album cards. And then since I bought the majority of my albums at Target, I obviously have all of their Target cards. Here's this page. And then the last page is for their IDs. And then the last six pages are for all of the unit cards, which I actually have all 24 because you could literally complete all of them with just two sets of albums. So first I'm going to do the black set and there's a way I've laid out all of these units. So the first page explained is I have both of Mino's units first because He's kind of my main bias. I don't really know. I don't have a bias in Stray Kids, but it would be between Mino and Felix. But I like Mino's styling the most, so all of his units go first. And then also, um, him and Hyunjin is like my favorite unit. And then next, for the rest of this page, I have one Hyunjin unit and one Felix unit, since they are the other two members of my bias line. And then the next page, there's the last Felix unit, and then Jongin, since I'm also collecting him. And then these two units are both people who I'm not collecting anyone for. So they're kind of just going in order of the members that I collect. But Mino is like always at the top. And then for the blue units, so obviously both Aminos are at the top, and then Mino and Felix are my top two. And then down here, I decided to put both of Hyunjin's units. And then the last unit was Felix, and then the unit with Jongin. And then the last two units of people who I'm not collecting. And then the last set is the same way, so first both of Mino's units first, and then my second and third buys together, then a Felix unit, the last Hyunjin unit, Jongin unit, and then the last two. And there we go, those are the last of the units. And then the last two cards I have for this era are Mino and Felix's k for You cards. So I had bought like two copies from k for You, like literally just for these pobs, and I pulled Felix and then traded for Mino, and they're just gonna sit on this page to fill it out. And yeah, I'll do a quick flip to now since I actually put away so many cards. So yeah, these are the K-Town cards. And then version one, and this is my favorite, Mino of his three. 
then version 2, and I think this is my favorite Hyunjin, then version 3, this is my favorite Jongin, then the target cards, the IDs, and then all of the units. And yes, that is everything I had for Stray Kids. I think I added like 11 pages or something, literally insane. Like wow, this whole section of the spider is just ordinary. Yes, I'm so happy to have all these cards. This comeback was so easy to collect and so fun and literally everything was just so simple and amazing. Oh my god, I am so happy with the spider now. And I'm really glad I'm like picking my Stray Kids collection back up because I don't really talk about Stray Kids much like on the internet, but they're like my fifth favorite group or something. So yeah, that is all for this binder. And then next I'm going to move on to AT since I have the most amount of cards for them. And I'm going to start out with my non-album binder. So to start out with, I have their two sets from their OT Youth photo book. So I'm going to do the pre-order holo cards first. So here is this beautiful set. And then the other set I have is the regular photo card set from the photo book and LOL. So I've done this for Gravity, but I actually cut these out of the sheet rather than punch them out. If you can tell like when the light glares on it, it still has the edges of the picture because I actually think these cards look better when they're not punched out because some of the picture gets chopped off of some of them and some of them it doesn't really make a difference. Like Yo Song, since his whole head is kind of in the frame, but for Sans, like, some of his hair gets cut off and, I don't know, like, just, like, little parts of the picture gets cut off and I kind of just like seeing the whole picture as it is. So I just used a paper cutter and just cut them around the edges and it looks, like, completely normal. So, yeah, they're just slightly bigger than normal photo cards. But yeah, I've done this for Gravity too because, I don't know, I just don't really like punching them out because sometimes part of the picture gets cut off that actually, like, makes it look nicer. So there's literally no harm in just cutting them out. And here is this page. So as you can see, like, they look normal. They're just slightly larger than a normal photo card now, but it still fits in the sleeve. So yeah, I just think they look better like this. Just thought I would explain that. But this is one of the best AT's photo card sets ever. I mean, hello, they're all outside and vibrant. And this photo book is pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. So yeah, that is all for this 80s binder. And the majority of all the 80s cards I have are for this binder. So at the front, I have pre-planned out all of these pages for epilogue. And I've decided to do the same thing I did for FIFA Part 3, where I'm just putting it at the front. One, because it's easier to put them away versus flipping to the back. And also, it's fun to see, like, the newest comeback at the front as opposed to in the back. So, like, right when I open it up, I can see these the quickest. So, I've decided to collect it the same way I did FIFA Part 3, where I'm going to do solo member pages at the front as opposed to OT8 sets, since I actually only collected three members for this era. Because these photo cards were just not my favorite, like, as cohesive sets. So, I just decided to collect my top three. So this is going to be Sans Page. And this card is actually different. So this is his Hello82 pre-order card that I'm going to put here because it matches this card almost exactly. And this card aesthetically just does not do it for me. Like if this was here, this just does not fit the symmetry of the page for me. So yeah, I decided to get this pre-order benefit and just put it here, which is something I just recently did in my Victim collection. But yeah, um, literally you would never be able to tell this was a pre-order benefit because it has the matte texture and sharp edges. So it was obviously also printed from KQ as opposed to like a company. And also it was sealed inside the album. So I kind of see it the way I see like their old MMT cards that were sealed in the album. So yeah, I mean, this is essentially an album card anyway. But yeah, I decided to put that here because it just looks so much better to me than if I put this card here. Also, even if this card matched, it just, this card doesn't really do much for me because his hair's not really showing and I just don't really like this card. But yeah, with that out of the way, this is Sans page and this card is my favorite card of the page. I have three of these now. And then next we have Sungwa's page. Sungwa pink hair superiority. Also the day I am filming this, it is currently Sungwa's birthday and also tomorrow is my birthday. I mean, we technically, have the same birthday but because it's already april 3rd in korea it's his birthday today
and on this page these two are my alt favorites so that is his page and then lastly i have Wu Young's page I wish this one was in the middle because this is like the least zoomed out of the two and these would look better on the outside but I don't know I think I'm gonna leave it like this for now just because this is the limited card but if it bothers me I might change it down the line but these two are also my favorite of his set and those are all of the album cards I collected. Then the next page is going to be for the one OT8 set I currently have on hand. So I didn't really collect many OT8 sets for this era. I think I have like two, but um, yeah, I just wasn't really feeling it this era. But the first one I have is Apple Music, which I love because I love Apple Music like photo card quality and the pictures are like my favorite concept. And also this is the company I bought from. So I just kind of got all of these anyway. So here is this page and I love these cards. And then these next few pages are all just gonna be layouts of cards for the certain members I collected for each company. So for this era, I pretty much just collected San and Sunglass Pobs because Wu Young didn't really do it for me. And I also had like guaranteed member spots for San and Sunglass, so I just decided to collect them. So this first page is just gonna be for some random companies. which I'm going to do like this. So these two are Sonara and then these are K-pop store and obviously they're opposite each other. And then these are all K-Town, LOL. Um, this is one of my favorite song cards of the entire era and I did in fact need two of these. So I'm gonna put them both on the page with Sungwa in the middle. So yes, LOL, but I just love this card so much that um, I wanted to collect too. And this page is for three more companies of San and Sungwa Pobs. So these two are Apple Music version 2, which this is like my favorite San card. This is in my top three of the era. I have three favorite cards and this is one of them. And then these two cards are Wonderwall version 2. And this is one of my favorite cards of Sungwa. This one is so beautiful. Like his hair and the handbook and even just the background is so nice i just love it so much and then these last two are make star version six i think so yes this is this page these are like later era ones and those were earlier era ones and also obviously this is when his hair like changed to black and then these are all of the pink hair ones and then this page is for not really an ot8 set it's for Make Star version 5, which I only have 5 out of the 8 members, and I actually don't really plan on ever getting the other 3. I don't have, you know, Yosung or Jango, but just because these 5 are honestly just revolutionary. Obviously, these 4 are all outside, and this is like from Turbulence, which is one of the greatest songs that has ever existed. And especially these 3, they are all outside and nighttime, and these are just stunning cards. And then Wu Young's is adorable, and also Sungwa's is just stunning. But, you know, Yosung and Jango's are just kind of not that cute. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of just, like, probably not ever gonna get those, because, like, I don't really feel the need to, and I really just wanted these ones, because these are cards I just, like, independently of the set. So, yes, <laughs> that is this page. But I might one day go back and get those, but for now I'm just, like, really happy with those five. And then this page is only gonna have two cards on it for now, it's not gonna stay like this, but I currently only have two cards for this page, but these are... San and Sungwa's Make Star LA cards, which I love so much, and they're doing the matching pose. And then to make this page have more cards on it, I'm going to get San and Wuyang's Everline 5 from Fever Part 3 to go right here, because they all kind of have a like a neutral brownish tone to them. And I'm deciding to put them last, since two of the cards on this page will be from Fever Part 3, so it will be like the mix of Epilogue and Fever Part 3. But for now, I only have those two. And then the last cards for this binder is a couple of random cards from Fever Part 3. So right here I have a page for these four cards. These are just some cards that I really really liked from the era that I decided to collect. Because obviously um, red hair, you know, superiority, and then these two are like to match. So I have Everline 2 and Bi Global Music. 
and I think those are all of the ATs cards I had. Obviously, I need to put fillers on all these. I am so happy I finally got all my epilogue cards in. It just took a while since they were all coming together at the end of the era, but this is Sans Page, then Sungwa, Wu Young, this one OT8 set, although I am collecting the second round of Hello 82, so I'll actually have another OT8 set of those. There are actually some other OT8 sets I do want to collect, but it's just like slow progress and it's low priority, but I do plan to have like maybe two or three more by the end of the era. And then this page of Sanhua Pods from like the early companies and then three more companies. And then this page of Makestar 5 cards from Turbulence. And then this last page of just two cards while I wait for the rest to put on this page. And those are all of the ATs cards. And also, um, this little mini poster from the Ode to You photo book is the prettiest thing I have ever seen, so I'm going to get a one pocket and put it right here on the front. Okay, so I've gotten a one pocket and this is going to go right on the front because this is the most stunning A4 I have ever seen in my life. This is now the new cover page of this binder. Sobs to death. And that is all for ATs. Next group is Cravity, and I have a few cards for their comeback Liberty in our Cosmos. So I've pre-planned out a little bit of pages. So this is the last page of The Awakening, which was the units. And this page is now for the next comebacks album cards. So I only have four on hand right now because I didn't purchase enough albums to like have enough cards for pulls. So I'm gonna have to like get the rest elsewhere, but right now I have these four. So I have one serum, two jungle, and one mini. And then I haven't planned out for the unit cards yet because I only have like two on hand. So I'm gonna wait till I have a few more to like do that. And then this next page is for the Starship Square pre-order benefits, which are the greatest Starship Square cards that have ever existed and the best pops of this whole era. Literally the person at Starship who came up with this idea is literally seeing heaven because this is the cutest thing that has ever happened to my collection. Like in this one, they're like blowing the kiss and in this one, they have the heart on their hand. I just cannot even fathom how genius of an idea this was and also the version 2 is my favorite concept out of all three versions and just... Somebody at Starship did this for me. And yes, oh my gosh, joy. Wow, pure joy. And then the last three gravity cards I have are some merch photo cards. So for this page, I have my top threes Sea Crew doll photo cards, which I spent so much money on those dolls just for these photo cards, but I mean, 200% worth it. So <laughs> oh, what have I come to? But yes, uh, that is the start of this page. Just, I need to reevaluate my life's choices. Really, I just need to get on this. I need to just find these either on Instagram or um, Neoku is actually back now, so here's hoping these won't be too hard to find. I'm not really worried about the album cards, but I know the units are going to be irritating, and they don't currently have too many pops right now, knock on wood, so I'll work on those as time goes on as well. And then next up, some hyphen, which I have a few cards for. Also, somehow in my photo card collection video, these two cards were switched, and the pure irritation that gives me that that is now documented on the internet forever, but I fixed those because, oh my god, but for this binder, all the way at the back, I have a page for their anniversary photo card set, which I'm putting in front of their season's greetings because it came out before that, I just got mine like three months late because of Weavers USA, but I finally have them out, so they're going to go back here. These cards are truly the cutest thing in the world. Hello, glasses, Sunu, and this young one is like probably the cutest one of the set to me. But yes, oh my gosh, finally have these. And then back here, I finally got a few more cards I had been wanting from and Connect Companion. So for this page, I finally have the second solo member binder PC I wanted to complete this page. So I got Nikki's because he comes from this unit. And then I also finally got these two units, which I've been wanting 
for probably like six months. They're from the crossbody bag, I think. And I just think these are so adorable because they're selfie units and also they're holding the boarding passes, which I just think is adorable. And I don't really have anywhere else to put these, so I'm actually gonna put them on this page and just move off some of the units here because, um, I don't know. I need somewhere to put these and I haven't really reevaluated this binder, but I'm gonna put these here in the middle since they're different. And obviously like this is the same unit as this and this is this unit. So yeah, this page is like kind of a mess now, but I don't know, I don't really have anywhere else to put these and I like these more than these units. So for now, they're just gonna be here, but I'll probably try to figure out somewhere else to put these so that I can put those other units back. But for now, that is all I had for an hyphen. And then for Victim, I just have three quick cards. So back here with Chronograph, I just have the three unit cards that came with the album. And I think I'm just going to put them on one of these two pages. So I think I'm going to put them on this page with the other pre-order benefit cards. So this one is the group one. And then the Chan, Young Chan, and Sungshik unit. And then the Seijun, Hansei, and Subin unit. I think I'm just going to leave it like this because it fills the page and then uh, all the units can go in the middle. And that is everything for Victim. Okay, and all of the rest of the cards I have left are for this mini binder, which I've put this Junso clear card on the front, since that actually is what's in this binder. So the first few cards are just going to be some produce soloist cards that I've gotten recently. So first I have all six of Sungyoon's Only Lovers Left hollow pre-order cards or whatever these were. So I've done one column of white and one of black, and then these are my favorite two white ones and my favorite two black ones, and then those are just the last two. And then a few months ago, I got Unsong's Lemonade comeback, which I'm just gonna put on this page, even though it doesn't really go here, but there's a spot open and he can go with the other soloists. So yeah, I just want one version of this album and I pulled this card, one of the best cards of this version. I'm so content with this pull because it's literally the Charlie Brown and Snoopy What like this is so adorable. Yeah, those are the soloist cards I have, and then I have a bunch of cards for Wii. Okay, so for this era, I'm going to be collecting Junso's cards, and I have a few of them right now. So out of the albums that me and Rihanna bought, the pulls were pretty good. Um, I have like four of his cards out of 12, but I only bought one set. So out of my six pulls, four of them were his. And then on these next two pages, I have the full OT6 set of Make Start version A. And I'm actually going to be getting um, OT6 of Make Star C, but until then, I'm just going to put these like this. But I think when I get those other ones, I'll put each member next to themselves. And then on this last page, so from the small group order that me and Brianna held, she actually got into Young Oz fan sign. So because of that, she also got the winner set of Star cards. And then she gave me these three because these are my top two. And then she also gave me Johan because like technically we held the group order together. And obviously like she talked to him and got the other stuff, but we had decided to split the winner cards. And also like none of our biases overlap. So yeah, I'm just gonna put those here. And then one of my other album pulls from the era was Marshmallow Young Out, which is pretty much the most sought after card of this era. And this card is literally just stunning, flawless, spectacular. So obviously um, I needed this and he's just gonna go right here until I get more album cards to put him somewhere else. But for now, he's just gonna sit with these winner cards. They have a different back than the regular mixer cards. But yes, I'm just so excited to have these and I'll be getting more in the future because we're actually also holding another small group order for Make Star C and I'm like trying to get into Junso's fan call, but like, yeah, we'll see. Here's hoping. Trying not to get my hopes up, but also, mm, yeah, they're up. Yeah, with those albums, I'll hopefully get um, a bunch more of his cards. And then the last three things I have are three of his larger inclusions from the era. So um, there's like a four cut and then a standee from each version of the album, and I currently have three of the six. And there we go. Those are the 
last of the items I had for this binder, and then also the last things I had for this entire video. And yes, that is currently everything I had for this video. I'm so, so happy with all of the stuff I put away, all of the Stray Kids, and then Aki's epilogue, and then starting a bunch of new pages for all these comebacks that have been happening recently. I'm also super excited for all of the things I'm waiting on in the mail, and I'll be looking forward to putting all that stuff away too. But that's currently all I had for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.